loves and welcome to day one of the 28 day fitness challenge for 2024. If you guys are here, that means you're trying to stay consistent with your fitness, stay consistent with mindful movement, and finally feel good in your body. And I'm so proud of you for showing up today, for giving that love to yourself, for making a promise to yourself. This class is not gonna require any equipment. If you'd like to, you can have a band or some weights. I'm gonna do it without, all I've got here is my mat. We have a juicy little glute day to kick us off. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started with some warm ups. You're just gonna kinda plant your feet, arms up in the air, and we are gonna do some marches. Now, already, I want you engaging your core. I want you to think about being strong through this movement, and there's not gonna be a lot required of you right here, but I want you to feel as much mind to muscle connection as you can already just in this, okay? We're getting our heart rate up, we're getting our muscles warm, and we're getting ourselves so hyped. I'm so proud of us already. We're starting a little bit later. We're starting on January 3rd because I know you guys had some shenanigans on the 31st, okay? I know you woke up on the first not feeling like it. So I gave you a few days to recover and now we're here, okay? Now it's game time. 2024 is our, can't say it, all right? YouTube's gonna yell at me. We're gonna have our feet just slightly wider than our hip width distance and then go ahead and turn out those toes a little bit so we can really target those glutes. And we're gonna drop down. We're gonna keep that heart rate going and we're gonna go ahead and do some sumo squats right here, perfect. As we're pulling through this, squeeze at the top with your glutes. I want you to really feel it here. I want you to engage with these glutes so you really know the muscle we're working. You are in the moment here. We don't have weights to work with here, so I want you to do the best that you can with that mind-muscle connection to just let yourself feel it, okay? So again, I'm just proud of you for showing up. I'm just proud of you for being here, no matter what skill level you need to take. At any point, you are more than welcome to take any breaks because you made it here, and that's all that matters. So we're gonna stay here for five, for four, just three more here, for two. You're feeling a little burnt already, good job. You're squeezing the top for two, and one, good job. We're gonna go ahead and bring it down to the mat. All fours here. And I want you to just warm up through that back a little bit, okay? Again, warm up through that core. I just really love doing this because it feels so amazing to just release so much of the day. Whatever happened before this, whatever's happening after this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't exist right now. All that exists is this community right now. All that exists is you and your body. We're just doing some cat cows here. Obviously, you can take any variation that you would like to, whatever feels good. This entire practice is just about you understanding what your body needs and you being incredibly in tune with your body and allowing it to take whatever movement, whatever time, whatever it needs to feel like your best self. We're gonna go ahead and come back to a neutral spine position here. And we're gonna get into our little bird dog, okay? You're gonna plant that right hand on the ground, lift that right leg, and lift that opposite left hand, okay? So we are here, and I want you to engage that core and bring it in. Now, as we go out, go ahead and squeeze with the base of that glute. I want you engaging that core so that you're using your glute muscle, not your lower back. I really wanna protect our lower backs here. I know we're not using any weight, but at the same time, any repetition like this can really, it makes a difference, okay? Any repetition like this makes a difference. So if you're doing it wrong, I want you to just make sure that you can feel all those muscles engaging and know that you're protecting your spine, protecting this beautiful body we've been given. We're gonna go ahead and stay here. Just slow and controlled movement and we're gonna exhale. Inhale and I want you to hold right here and we're gonna pulse, okay? We're gonna pulse for five, for four, for three, squeeze with the base of that glute, for two, for one, and bring it down. You're gonna go ahead and switch. You're gonna bring up that left leg, bring up that right hand. Again, I want you to bring your ribs to your pelvic bone, engage that core, and we're going to exhale as we squeeze. Inhale as we lengthen. Exhale, really use that core to bring your leg in. Inhale, use the base of that glute to bring your leg up. See how tight you can get it up there. So proud of you for being here. And the best part about this program is, we do it as long as Bethany says, 
because I lose track of the count 90% of the time. So we're just gonna be here feeling it, really guiding our leg through this movement for as long as we freaking feel like it. Again, if you need to take a moment at any time to drop down, I'm just proud of you for being here, okay? We're gonna hold right here and I want you to pose up four, five, for four, squeezing with that glute, for three, for two, for one, good, and go ahead and bring it down. Go back into a child's pose, just releasing the tension in those glutes, giving your shoulders some love. They did some work in here too. The best part about this is we are getting movement everywhere. We're getting our shoulders, our core, our glutes, and we're doing it together. Not even close to being done yet, so don't pat yourself on the back too hard. We're back in tabletop, okay? We're gonna be here again, pushing through those shoulders, rolling them back and down, engaging that core, just making sure we are on fire in every point with this movement. So we're gonna have that leg extended behind us, and we're just gonna go ahead and lift up. So similar to bird dog, just without that other arm, okay? We're gonna be tapping here, and it's gonna give you a chance to really isolate that glute, because before we had a little bit of an arm distracting us, and now I want you to just focus on that leg. I want you to focus on pulling up through the base of your glute. Perfect, that's gonna give us a little shelf, a little bubble butt, you know what I'm saying? Just a cutie little glute day, okay. And I'm just trying to distract myself from this because who I'm feeling it. All right, we're gonna hold again, and I want you to do little circles. Before we did pulses, then I want you to circle. I want you slow and controlled as we go around in a circle. There we go, and go ahead and reverse that circle, squeezing at the top. Again, engaging that core. If you're feeling it in your lower back, go ahead and drop that leg. And then engage that core and join us when you can. Because I really wanna make sure you are not hurting yourself. This is just, just some fun, mindful movement. Go ahead and switch to that other side. I want you to extend that left leg out. Again, draw those shoulders back and down. Engage that core and bring this leg up with so much strength, with so much power, being so proud of yourself for showing up today. Being so proud of yourself for making time for this today. I know our lives can get so busy and so hectic, but the fact that you have made a goal to be consistent with your movement and that you're showing up means that you really care, okay? Showing up and keeping that promise to yourself, that's a big deal, that's something to be proud of. We're gonna go ahead and hold right here and we're going to make tiny little circles, just really isolating through that glute. Again, engage that core as we're going around and reverse those circles. There we go. Even your shoulders should be filling at this point. I know mine are. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that down. Again, go ahead and drop down to the child's pose. Take whatever movement you need to because we're going to work forearms, all right? We're gonna be here. We're gonna do some donkey kicks, all right? We're gonna go ahead and engage that core again. Bring this leg up to the top. And I want you to, if you have a band now, this is where you're going to grab it. You're going to put your band underneath your supporting leg. This is going to be your left leg right now. And the top of the band on the top of your foot. If you have a weight, go ahead and put that right here in the crook of your leg. Otherwise, just go ahead and join me right down here on the mat. So we're going to go ahead and lift up. We're still working in that glute max. Since most of us here don't have weights, we're really focusing on burning out that muscle with endurance, okay? We wanna make sure that we are getting all of these little reps in because it's not gonna be the weight that's burning out this muscle, it's strengthening it. It's gonna be the consistent movement. There we go, keep that core engaged, keep those shoulders down and back, there we go. And we're squeezing at the top of that glute. Go ahead and just kick your heel up to the sky for this, pretending that there is someone up there that you're just not having it with today, okay? And I want you to go ahead and hold it here. We're just gonna do a hold for five, for four, for three, I'm loving it, for two, for one, and bring it down. Go ahead, give yourself a pat where it needs it most. And I want you back down on your forearms. We're switching sides, okay? Bring that left leg up, and we are pulsing here. There we go. We're getting these little donkey kicks up here. Awesome, I'm so proud of us for showing up, for sticking with it. And I'm gonna keep telling you how proud I am because I think it's so easy to be like, oh, I should be doing more. I should be doing this. I should be doing that, but you're here and that's exactly where you should be. You're doing what you need to do. You're fulfilling your promises to yourself. And just doesn't this feel so good? 
but you'll notice as you stay consistent with working out that you just feel these endorphins rushing through you, you're feeling so happy. And the fact that we get to have a community while we do this is just more than I could ever ask for, okay? This is what we call Bethany time when I lose track of the counts again. So we're just gonna go ahead and hold because I'm feeling it in my glutes and that to me means it's time to tap out here in a second. So we're gonna bring it down and come back. We're coming back up onto our hands because we're gonna extend and we're shifting now into that glute medius, okay? So we're gonna extend that foot diagonally. And I want you to, again, engage that core, engage those shoulders, push away, roll them back and down. We've got this leg pointed out and we are lifting. There we go, I feel like this isn't a muscle we target super often, especially if you are used to lifting, if you are used to any other movement. I found that for me, this is one that doesn't always get targeted. So it's so fun when you do new practices like this and you go, oh my gosh, where'd that muscle come from? How does that work? And then it's so fun to see that muscle build, to see how far you can go, to see what you can do with your body. And that's really what this is about, is just proving to yourself that you've got this, that you are so powerful, that you keep promises to yourself. Whew, and we are showing up. Okay, let's go ahead and hold it here. I want you pulsing up for five, for four, for three, and at any moment, if you need to drop your leg, go for it. I'm just glad you're here. For two, for one, and bring it in. We're only bringing it in because I need to bring it in, but we gotta get back up because we have little circles. All right, we are up here and we're doing little circles. There we go, we're going down in those little circles, keeping that core engaged, keeping our minds so happy. I want you here to reverse those circles and think of one thing that you were excited for in 2024 to distract yourself from that burn. We told you we're doing this together. We're gonna go ahead and switch to that left leg again on that diagonal. And I want you to lift up here, okay? We're gonna lift, perfect. You guys are absolutely killing it. And I want you to think of one more thing here that you are excited to make happen in 2024 because you have so much power over your life. You are the one making things happen. Anything you set your mind to is gonna come true. So I want you to go ahead and hold it here and think about that thing that you are gonna make happen this year. Woo, whatever it is, whatever that needs to be for you, go ahead and drop it in for just a second because we've got little circles in a moment. And again, at any point, if you need to drop down in child's pose, if you need to modify this in any way, please be my guest. Do whatever feels good for you. I'm just proud of you for following along and we are making those little circles. Can you even see my leg? Who's to know? But that's okay because you understand what's going on. You know, you saw the other side. So we are going to bring it around town. Those little circles for three, for two, for one, and bring it in. Oh, that is fantastic right there. That is lovely. We are done with this section, you guys, except we are not done with that blue medius. She is still our little, that we can't say on YouTube. So we are here. You're gonna go ahead and bring these toes together. You've got this shoulder engaged. You've got your core engaged. You've got space here. I want you to feel this glute working so hard for us as we pull up right here. Go ahead and pull with the top of that leg, with that glute, and you're feeling it here. This is one that you don't think would do much, but whew, she creeps up on ya. Go ahead and stay here for five, for four, keep that breath going, breathe through this, for two, for one, and last one, go ahead and extend that leg. We are almost done with the side of this lovely juicy glue. You're going to bring this leg up, pull through the top of your leg. Again, you're engaging through your core and you are lifting this glorious leg in the air. So proud of us for being here. So proud of us that we're breathing through this and not looking at my dead plant, leave her out of this. Okay, I've been traveling and uh, staring it straight in the eyes right now. I'm going to distract yourself, okay? Because you're going to feel so good after this. We're feeling so good right now. Again, if there's any modifications you need to take, go ahead and take them. Rest that leg down for a second because you know what's next. We're pulsing. We're going to bring it up for five, for four, pulse at the top, for three, for two, for one, and you are a body. Go ahead and bring it down, and we are switching to the other side. We're going to go ahead and do some clamshells here. Don't talk to me about the way that these are named. That is not on me. We got these toes together. 
you've got the toes and the hips in line and you are bringing up this left leg. Again, you've got space here. You're engaged here. Just because we're using the glutes doesn't mean we forget about the upper body. Doesn't mean she gets to tap out of this because we're all on this. I'm gonna rest the face. Here we are. And we're here for probably longer than we should be because I lost track of the counts. But I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? For five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Good job, you know what's next. We are extending that beautiful leg and we are lifting and lifting. And I feel like a little jazzercise instructor right now. I feel like I need to have bright blue on, maybe some wrists, what do you call them? I don't know, but I'm feeling it. If you have little ball of angles that you're doing this with, if you have little ankle weights, I applaud you with my whole soul. And if you're doing this and you need to tap out, again, I applaud you for even staying here. We got through that so good that we're back to the pulses right here. You just did that without even knowing. Okay, we're at the pulses for three, for two, for one, bring it down. I'm so proud of us. And we're getting sassier as we go, because now we're bringing it into the bridge series. Usually we'd be doing this with hip thrusts if you have weights, but we don't. We have only the weight of our emotion. Let's go ahead and bring it down. I want you to bring your fingertips to your heels, have a good amount of space here. If you are someone who's prone to a back injury, I want you to keep this lower back sealed to the ground when it would go to the ground. If you're someone who has never dealt with that, if you are still in your youth and not have injured your back, you're gonna go ahead and have a small, healthy amount of space underneath your lower back. But right now we are planting those feet firmly into the ground. You're going to engage your glutes by bringing your legs, by bringing your heels, towards your glutes just with that tension, okay? You're gonna go ahead and peel your spine off of the ground one vertebrae at a time until you have reached a straight line at the top. Go ahead and go one vertebrae at a time, down slow and controlled, connecting to those glute muscles, connecting to your little peach, and you're gonna go ahead and bring her back up, okay? We're gonna go ahead and stay in a straight line, and bring her back down to the floor. Okay, and we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna rest fully on the floor and peel up one more time to find a squeeze at the top and we're gonna roll back down. Now this time, we're gonna go a little bit quicker and we're not gonna have as much of a distinct rolling movement. So we're gonna go up, we're gonna tap down at the bottom and we're gonna go quick and it's gonna be such a fun, effective burn here. You're gonna go ahead and tap down at the bottom and bring it up to the top. We're gonna keep those glutes squeezed as we go through this, keeping that endurance going, keeping those glutes engaged. I want you to reach a straight line here at the top. Keep those heels pressed into the ground, pushing your heels. I also want you to keep feeling like your heels are pushing towards your legs. So like you're dragging your heels towards you. And don't tell me as you do that, you don't feel immediately more in your glutes. Again, keep that lower back protected if you need to. Tap out at any point if you need to, because we are holding here at the top. Join us whenever you can. Take a little water break, take a little food break, whatever you gotta do, because the most important thing here so we are listening to our bodies. Exercising is not about punishing our bodies. Exercising is about energizing and strengthening and rewarding ourselves for being alive, for being so wonderfully here. And we are back down, bringing these legs up to our chest, okay? And roll side to side to roll it out for a second because we're back on the ground, okay? Again, place those heels, find your movement, and we're gonna lift that right leg in the air. You've got options here. If you want a little bit harder, give yourself some strength here with that core, and you're going to lift up with one leg. So again, you're still pushing through that heel on that glute bridge, but we're just doing a one-sided glute bridge. If you do need to bring it up, have a little bit less core tension, you are more than welcome to. If you wanna bring it down just here, more than welcome, whatever works for you. Whatever you can do, there is absolutely never shame in taking the level that you need because every week we're gonna be going through this and you can feel that improvement. You can find whatever improvement you need. Go ahead and bring it back up here. And I want you to hold for five, 
for four. I don't know where this leg takes us going. For three, for two, for one, and bring it back down. Go ahead and switch these legs. Plant the right foot, lift the left leg, choose whatever level you need. And we're gonna go ahead and lift up for eight, for seven, for six, for five, keeping that glute engaged, pushing through your heel, for two, for one. And I want you to hold for a juicy second and bring us back down. Good job, you guys. We are gonna go ahead and flip around. We're back to our bird dog. We've got one more bridge series and we're gonna stick around for some mindfulness at the end just to congratulate ourselves for completing day one and prepping ourselves for day two because I better see every one of your cute butts back on this mat tomorrow. So we are bringing us back to the beginning. Let's go ahead and slow that heart rate down with this intentional movement. Exhale as you contract. Inhale as you extend along. Exhale. So proud of you here. Hold it for me for just one second. And we're down. Feeling it in those glutes. Sealing in all this good practice. We're lifting our left leg. We are lifting our right arm. And we are contracting through those abs. Extending using the top of that glute one more time. And we're here for three more. This is three. There we go, using those abs. Giving those shoulders and abs and glutes some love. Four, last one. I want you to hold it here at the top when you get there and bring it on down. Now, I just wanna distract you a little bit because we're going back to the bridges. And I think you promise your glutes are gonna be on fire. Or if not, I'm just, you know, Subtle flex, all right, Miss strong glutes over there. However, we're gonna go ahead and push back into the ground. Pull the heels towards you, again, engaging those glutes, and we are going to pulse it out here as a final little burn. Tapping at the bottom, coming up very briefly there at the bottom, and you're gonna squeeze up into a straight line right here. Here we are, feeling it so good. Everything you've done for yourself today is such a win. You are the one who has shown up for yourself. You have given yourself a bid for trust. You've given yourself this gift for showing up today. And I am so proud of you. And whatever else you've got going on after this, just know that you're gonna show up with so much more love and abundance and strength because you made time to prioritize yourself today. There we go, we're gonna do four, three, and four, two, and the last one, we're gonna go up there and we're gonna hold, and I want you to tell yourself three things that you are so glad that you have in your life right now that are coming with you into 2024. Okay, three things, it's a lot of things that can be quick, they can be simple, they can be complicated, and they can distract you from what's popping right now. And go ahead and roll yourself back down onto this mat and hug those beautiful, glorious legs to your chest. Oh my gosh, good job, you guys. Roll side to side. And you're gonna cross your right leg over for a figure four. Grab through those legs and you're gonna pull towards you. Ooh, I feel that in my glutes. I don't know about you. And we're gonna hold it here for a second. Go ahead and switch. Left leg over right leg. Bring it in towards you. And Good job, you guys. Roll up. I want you to bring these legs here together and lean forward. I used to coach gymnastics and I would have our little girlies put their peanut butter, put their jelly, put their feet together and fly all the way to Disneyland. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna fly to our happy place right now because we just did an incredible thing for our mind and for our bodies and I hope that you continue to bring this mindfulness wherever you're going in your day. Continue to listen to your body. Go ahead and cross those legs and we're gonna get in tune with our bodies with a really quick minute of mindfulness. I want you to put your hand on your heart, another hand on your belly. 
and just breathe love and appreciation into yourself. We're gonna do what we call box breathing. We're gonna breathe in for four counts. We're gonna go one, two, three, expand your belly and hold. Two, three, four, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, four, three, two, one. I want you to keep doing that on your own and just be in the moment. Good job you guys you survived day one i hope your glutes are on fire i hope your mind is on fire i hope you are so proud of yourself for showing up so happy in this body that you are creating this body you've been given and i will see you tomorrow on day two we are doing some abs and core so prep yourself i love you so much